you guys the basic clamshell. What I'd like you to do is find a mat, come to a nice lying position. You're in one straight line here on the mat. Then just shift your legs forward until you notice your shin reaches the point of the mat. From there, bend your knees up so they're almost in line with your hips. From here, you can brace your head, activate those core muscles. So pull in, really feel that connection between the upper and lower abdominals. And then from there, you can just have your hand gently resting on the floor, trying not to depend on it too much for too much stability. From here, we're gonna take the top leg and slowly open the knee towards the ceiling and then lower the knees back together. Now, you'll notice I'm not necessarily moving that top leg and getting that knee pointing all the way up to the ceiling. I could do that, but it would look like this. Now, this is essentially not the exercise we want to do. We're taking the muscular contraction that we're looking for out of the equation. What I'm asking you guys to do is keep these hips stacked one over top of the other, keep this core engaged. Now, that's gonna reduce your range of motion, but I'm okay with that. I would much rather have these performed properly as opposed to just mindlessly. So that's your basic clamshell. Dave is going to come and show us how to advance this move and make it a bit more challenging and incorporate some other aspects. Step two, now we're gonna make it a little bit harder for the clamshell. So you saw Sarah doing step one where she was just opening up through here, try not to engage the back so she's not opening too wide. Just go as high as you can comfortably go while maintaining the glute activation and not lower back. Now to engage your core, Sarah, if you can slide your arm underneath you so it starts where your shoulders are stacked, where your elbow's stacked right over your shoulder. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna imagine without shifting your body weight down that way that you're trying to push the mat away from you. So you're almost lifting up through the core more and more and more, good. And she's squeezing the shoulder blade down and back. Yes, good. And then what she's gonna do is also take a huge breath, exhale very hard to engage her core, her diaphragm, wicked. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna push her bottom knee hard into the ground so that it's almost lifting her up. And that's gonna shift her hips slightly that way. So keep that tension there. As you keep the tension pushing into the ground, she's gonna open up slowly through this leg and then all the way back down. Don't let it collapse. She's controlling it on the way down. Now, right now, Sarah can feel the glutes on either side firing up. Some people also say that the bottom glute is working way harder. So you're gonna do this. Trust me guys, if you're doing this right, this one is very challenging. Yes. Step three to progress it even more is Sarah's gonna see if she can push even harder on here to lift her whole body off the ground. So up, there you go, and there you go. Okay, now open up through here, rotate your hips just a little bit, there you go. So imagine there's a pole going straight down through your hips all the way down. Typically, most people like to cheat, like Sarah just started <laughs> trying to do, and her back is rotating this way. So I would advise just to try to exaggerate almost your hips going this way, and then all the way back down. Good, and you can relax. Um, so from this motion, Sarah already explained it excellent, where you're trying to open up as high as comfortably you can without engaging the back. Lots of people only have minimal range, so up to here and then back down. If that's your range right now, that's okay. You just need to do a little bit more stretching. Don't just engage your back muscles to do it. Um, there's the difference between passive and active range of motion. Sarah's active range of motion, let's say, is only up to here. And then possibly passive, if I was a physio or another health professional, could maybe open it up more without her back engaging. So if you're like, yeah, when I go see my physio, I can open up more. That's just passive. But right now, Sarah has an excellent range of motion. Thanks, David. <laughs>